What do you think? If Kevin Durant does indeed meet with the Nets over the next few days, what do you think he should? We don't know what he's going to say. What do you think he should say? Um, well, I, I'm going to look at it like this. If I'm the Nets, I don't care what he says. <laughs> he can come in and say, I'm unhappy. Why haven't you guys traded me? Uh, whatever that is, I'm going to be like, okay, cool. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. What if yes, he says, gotcha. I'm not showing up from training camp? Then it, I'll say it's going to cost you, and it's going to cost you a lot. And if you're willing to eat that, then okay, so be it. If we traded you, we wouldn't have you anyway. So mm. you're not showing up, and you foregoing your, you know, forty plus million dollars. Okay, we we tried, we tried to trade you, Kevin, and we're in a situation now which would be more advantageous for you. Show up to training camp. Let's see what we can do. This may be the year that we win a championship, having you, Ben, and Kyrie on the court together for the entire season. And if that's not good enough for you, then you got to do what you got to do. But we're going to recoup that money. I like it. I like it. I agree with you wholeheartedly. And I've been saying that. I've been like a voice crying out in the wilderness. All right, I've been saying that we got him for four years. We're not now. Look, unless somebody blows us away with the deal, which is not going to happen, right? Especially Boston. I mean, Boston is not only in our conference; they're in our division. And not only that, they embarrassed the Nets in 2013. We still remember. We're still living with the ramifications of that deal because that's the deal where they traded all those picks, the Nets, Mm -hmm. to Boston for an old Paul Pierce and old Kevin Garnett. That's the deal that enabled Boston to get the Jason Tatums and the Jalen Browns and become a contender. Yep. So if I trade with Boston, I better not be getting equal value. I better be getting more than equal value. And I'm with you. So what I think Kevin Durant should do is he should go in there and talk to the owner, Joe Sy, and say, look, let's run it back. Forget the trade request. All right, y'all tried. I appreciate you you trying. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate you putting it out there. And here's why I say Durant should do it. Obviously, I think basketball-wise, and let he the only places he could go where he would have a better chance. And I'm not I don't view the Nets as the favorite in the East, but they are a contender. And the only place he could go with a better chance of winning the championship would be like Golden State, right? Or Boston if it wasn't like if it was an equal deal. Like if it was say Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart and draft picks. But outside of those He needs to, the best place is Brooklyn. And here's the problem with going to Golden State and Boston. If you go there and win it, didn't you just do that? Right? Isn't that what you're trying to get away from? Aren't you trying to prove you can lead your own team? You go to Golden State and win. They've already proven they can win without you. You yeah. now this is even work. You going to them right after you're they won a back. championship. You going Not, back? They didn't even just lose in the finals like last time. They won in the finals. Or if you go to Boston, you're going to the team that just like Golden State in 2016 beat you in the playoffs in embarrassing fashion. Golden State rallying from three one down. Boston sweeping you to a team that just ra- made it to the finals and lost in a fairly close series. So that's not going to get the haters off your back. That's not going to erase the mental asterisks that a lot of people have next to your championships. No. And so, and here's the other thing, Ephraim. The Nets believed in him. The Nets gave him they did everything a max he contract when, he, when they knew for the first year of that max deal, you're going to be sitting you out with your Achilles, yeah. right? 
Yep. And then they gave him an extension knowing, you know, over the last two years, you only played 90 games. I mean, come on, man. Like, and he hasn't even given it a chance with Kyrie. They've only played 44 games together. So I'm with you. I, well, I think, number one, he should essentially retract the trades, you know, request and say, look, let's run it back. Let's do this. Like you said, they got a great roster. And two, even if he doesn't, if I'm the Nets, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I, I, you, I, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Right. Or, right, see you next month when training camp opens. Now, I do think if he makes it ugly, like if he sits out. Oh, sit out, sit out. It gets ugly at that point. I mean, look, they could play real hardball. You get your money back, man. And you're not getting your money. You're going to give us the money back? Okay. You want it to be traded. So or, we were preparing not to have your services anyway. Okay? We were preparing not to have your services. What if he comes to training camp and got a quote unquote back injury? Well, that's what, what I, I that's mean. it. That's that, that's and that's that's petty, and we all know Kevin Durant can be kind of petty, man. We <laughs> we all know he can be kind of petty, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where I say like if he makes it so ugly, right, a la James Harden, a la Ben Simmons, a la Anthony Davis, or uh, if I get blown away by the deal, th- those are situations where you might have to trade him. But I don't know that Kevin Durant will do that. All Most people feel like, including me, that he won't. You don't have a lot of time. Right, that's the waste. thing. Is he willing to throw away his career? You don't, have, you don't have a lot of time. Of you don't have a lot of time to posture and to do all those things. Right. Right. Because the theoretically, clock is going. from the Nets, could I mean, if they really wanted to be like, you know what, man, just for the sake of taking back some control of this situation in the league, we gonna let you sit out this year, sit out next year. You don't get the a hundred million dollars or whatever you're supposed to get. We gonna let you just sit, just give that money up, and 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 also you 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 you're essentially giving up the latter part of your career. And nobody wants to do that. that that's a no. lose lose for both. Absolutely. 